So, you know what scrambled our minds for ages? The great egg debate. Is our feathered friend's gift good or bad for our ticker? Do these protein-packed parcels send cholesterol levels through the roof? Is it best to shun them from our plates entirely? It's enough to make your head spin, right? Well, don't worry, because we're hatching the facts about eggs and heart health once and for all. We're not yoking around. We're getting straight to the heart of the matter by delving into the hard-boiled science, discussing pertinent research, and banishing the misleading myths about this dietary dilemma. We won't shy away from the potential problems eggs may pose. But hey, we've got your back. We'll guide you on how to dodge these pitfalls. So get ready, we're about to crack the case on eggs and heart disease, preparing you with all the insight you need to make heart-smart decisions for your wellness. Hold on though, before we unleash the excitement, could we ask a little favor? Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to help us reach more people. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll always be in the loop with our freshest content. We're here to ensure you've got the best information for living a long and healthy life. Now let's travel back in time to the year 1961, when a man named Ansel Keys proposed the idea that saturated fats and dietary cholesterol were the main drivers of heart disease. This hypothesis quickly became the prevailing narrative, despite a growing body of evidence suggesting otherwise. Fast forward to today, and the conversation has taken a dramatic turn. A large number of physicians and scientists are now casting doubt on whether cholesterol and saturated fats are truly at the heart of cardiovascular disease. Consider, for example, the renowned 2004 Rotterdam study. Researchers in this investigation found lower incidences of heart disease among participants who consumed larger quantities of foods like eggs, cheese, butter, and liver. These are traditionally viewed as high cholesterol, detrimental foods, yet the study revealed that they could potentially reduce heart calcification. Also notable is the phenomenon known as the French paradox. Despite regular consumption of butter and high-fat cheese, the French population generally exhibits low levels of heart disease. Statistical data reveals that only 50% of heart attack victims have elevated cholesterol levels. This implies that the remaining 50%, who are within the recommended range, are still susceptible to heart attacks. Interestingly, some evidence even indicates that individuals with higher cholesterol might have longer life expectancies. For example, a 1992 study by a team of American researchers found that having low cholesterol was associated with increased mortality from gastrointestinal and respiratory diseases. These researchers tracked over 100,000 healthy individuals for 15 years and found that those with low cholesterol were hospitalized more frequently due to infectious diseases. Moreover, a 2007 meta-analysis of 23 studies published in the British Medical Journal found that patients with low concentrations of LDL cholesterol, lowered as a result of taking statins, are at significantly greater risk of being diagnosed with cancer compared to patients with higher cholesterol levels. This brings us to an important point. Simply maintaining low cholesterol might not be the golden ticket to good health. The plot thickens a little more than that. While cholesterol itself isn't inherently evil, things do get messy when it gets damaged or oxidized. What's oxidation, you ask? Well, imagine cholesterol particles having a nasty encounter with free radicals, which are unstable molecules that wreak havoc on our body's cells and tissues. This encounter can happen due to things like smoking, unhealthy foods, among other factors. Once cholesterol particles get oxidized, they create a cellular ruckus, disrupt cellular integrity, and stir up inflammation, laying the groundwork for various diseases. These troubled, oxidized particles are also more likely to accumulate and harm artery walls, leading to plaque deposits. This results in arteries becoming narrow and less flexible, setting the stage for atherosclerosis. So it's not just about the levels of cholesterol, it's the quality of cholesterol that we need to keep an eye on. Now, you might be wondering, where do eggs fit into all this? 
In a fascinating study published in the Journal of Nutrition, it was found that eating three eggs a day actually improved the quality of cholesterol in overweight subjects. The researchers assembled 28 overweight or obese men who all followed a carbohydrate-restricted diet, with half of them also munching on three eggs per day. Both groups managed to reduce their risk of metabolic syndrome due to the carbohydrate restriction, but the egg-eating group got an extra bonus. They boosted their levels of HDL cholesterol, the so-called good cholesterol. Now, HDL plays a neat role. It shuttles excess cholesterol from the bloodstream to the liver for processing and elimination, keeping the system ticking over smoothly. So, you might be thinking, why exactly are eggs so great? And are there any strings attached? Eggs can be likened to a complete food because they're packed with an array of essential vitamins, minerals, and micronutrients. One major selling point is their high quality protein content, which includes all nine essential amino acids. These amino acids are key players in various functions like muscle growth, tissue repair, and immune function. The protein in eggs provides a valuable source of energy and aids in the production of hormones and enzymes. Eggs are also a rich source of healthy fats, including monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. These fats play a crucial role in brain function, hormone production, and the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins. Additionally, eggs come loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, celebrated champions in combating inflammation, aiding brain function, and cutting down the risk of heart disease. They're also generously packed with vitamins A, D, E, K, and a suite of B vitamins, which lend a helping hand to maintaining healthy vision, robust bones, and optimal nerve function. And let's not forget the minerals. Iron, zinc, and selenium are all on the guest list. These are essential for the production of red blood cells and keeping our immune system in top shape. That's an impressively rich nutrient profile for a single food, wouldn't you agree? But wait, there's more. Eggs are one of nature's top-notch sources of choline. Why should you care about choline? Well, it's a key player in forming cell membranes. Choline plays a particularly important role during pregnancy as it contributes to fetal brain development and may help guard against neural tube defects. In later life, a deficiency in choline is linked with a host of issues. This includes fatty liver disease, kidney and pancreas problems, muscle deterioration, elevated homocysteine levels, and an increased risk for cardiovascular disease. So, tucking into eggs is a simple and delicious way to ensure you're getting enough choline and sidestepping potential deficiency. What's more, eggs contain special antioxidants, lutein and zeaxanthin, which are eye health superheroes, helping protect against conditions like macular degeneration and cataracts. Finally, eggs have a low glycemic index, which means they don't cause a rapid spike in blood sugar levels. This is particularly beneficial in fending off diabetes and promoting heart health. So, we've covered the egg-ceptional benefits of eggs. Next, we'll delve into a few points of caution to keep in mind. When it comes to what we eat, it's essential not just to look at the food itself, but also how it's produced. Take eggs, for example. Eggs that come from pasture-raised or free-range hens have higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin D, vitamin E, and other vital nutrients compared to their counterparts from caged hens. This difference is due to the lifestyle of the hens. Pasture-raised hens can roam freely, forage for a diverse diet, and indulge in their natural behaviors. On the other hand, caged hens are often confined to small spaces, devoid of movement, and their diet is mostly commercial chicken feed. Picture a person locked in a cage, unable to eat natural food or exercise. This scenario isn't likely to yield healthy outcomes, right? The same principle applies to hens. The conditions in which they're raised contribute to the quality of the eggs they produce, which in turn influence the health benefits we derive from consuming them. You might be wondering, does it really make that much of a difference? The short answer is absolutely. A study in 2019 explored how our bodies react to foods from animals raised under different conditions. Interestingly, the study found that consuming the same kinds of foods, such as eggs, 
cheese, beef, and butter from animals raised differently led to significant differences in crucial health markers. These include levels of conjugated linoleic acid, omega-3 fatty acids, and inflammatory factors. In simpler terms, consuming a caged egg, which has scant amounts of omega-3, could ramp up your inflammatory markers. Meanwhile, a pasture-raised egg, rich in omega-3, could actually help tone down these markers. The researchers concluded that the way animals are raised indeed results in markedly different health effects in humans who consume their products. This drives home the point that it's not just about asking, are eggs good or are eggs bad? It's about questioning, are the eggs I'm buying of good quality? So the beautiful reality is, the straightforward decision to purchase pasture-raised or free-range eggs can tip the balance in favor of your health. This pattern extends to many other foods. Grass-fed beef, for instance, is known to contain higher levels of healthy fats and fewer inflammation-inducing compounds compared to grain or soy-fed beef. Similarly, wild-caught fish are generally healthier than their farmed counterparts, which often face crowded conditions and antibiotic treatments. The healthier living conditions and diverse diet result in wild-caught fish having a superior nutrient profile and fewer potential health risks. And here's something to chew on from a groundbreaking study in 2021. Scientists discovered that milk from grass-fed cows had significantly higher concentrations of micronutrients like terpenoids, phenols, carotenoids, and tocopherols compared to milk from grain-fed cows. These nutrients, revered for their anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antiviral, and anti-carcinogenic properties, further bolster the argument that how animals are raised directly affects the nutritional content of their produce. So, as part of this important conversation, we need to consider how our food is grown. We should question what nutrients or chemicals it has been exposed to, and whether the animal had high levels of inflammation and stress hormones, in essence, we need to think about what exactly is going into our bodies when we consume these foods. A handy guideline here is to ask yourself, has this food been grown naturally? Now, let's turn to the final and perhaps most crucial component of this discussion. Cooking oils. The oil you choose for cooking can make a world of difference. Vegetable oils, for instance, should be avoided as they can easily become rancid and oxidize, which damages cholesterol and contributes to disease. Oils become rancid when exposed to heat, light, or air, leading to the creation of free radicals and other harmful compounds. It's much like rust gnawing away at the metal of a car, weakening it and reducing its functionality over time. Oxidation in many common oils can break them down, turning them toxic. Polyunsaturated oils are particularly vulnerable to oxidation due to their chemical structure, which can lead to inflammation and heightened risk of chronic diseases. Culprits here include soybean oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, canola oil, grapeseed oil, and cottonseed oil. To curb oxidation, it's advisable to cook your eggs using methods that don't require oils, such as poaching or boiling. Alternatively, you can use high-quality oils like extra virgin olive oil, which stands up well to heat. Extra virgin olive oil can handle moderate heat without breaking down or producing harmful byproducts, thus making it a reliable choice. Furthermore, extra virgin olive oil is rich in heart-healthy monounsaturated fats and boasts a variety of health benefits. In summary, the former mainstream belief that eggs contribute negatively to heart health has been considerably refuted by extensive research. Evidence suggests that dietary cholesterol and saturated fat are not the primary villains in heart disease. Instead, oxidation and inflammation seem to be the real concerns. As a result, eggs can be a healthy and beneficial addition to your diet. They're brimming with high-quality protein, beneficial fats, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, all promoting overall wellness. However, it's important to source eggs from pasture-raised and free-range hens. When it comes to preparing eggs, opt for cooking techniques that don't demand oils. When oil is necessary, choose stable and health-promoting options like extra virgin olive oil. 
Now, before you go, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. And if you'd like to show us some extra support, consider using the Super Thanks feature. It helps us continue to bring you the latest and greatest insights on your health and wellness. As always, thanks for watching, and we look forward to sharing more with you in our next video.